No collusion, no obstruction. He's a leaker. That was an excuse by the Democrats. James Comey confirmed a lot of what I said, and some of the things that he said just weren't true. Should I take one of the killer networks that treat me so badly as fake news? Should I do that? I want to get back to James Comey's testimony. You suggested he didn't tell the truth in everything he said. Did he ask for a pledge of loyalty from you? That's another thing he said. No, he did not. So he said those things under oath. Would you be willing to speak under oath to uh, give your version of, of 100%. those events? 100%. So if Robert Mueller wanted to speak with you about that, you I would be, be glad to, talk to, to tell him exactly what I just told you. Well, the president wasn't the only one watching yesterday. Ann Coulter was kicking back with a glass of Chardonnay and some Nicorette <laughs> watching the Comey show as well. And she joins us tonight. Hey, Ann, what'd you think? I'm really glad Donald Trump threatened James Comey with those conversations being taped because what he had to say changed quite dramatically once he had to worry that they might have been taped. Everyone forgets this. But when Trump sent out that tweet saying, boy, James Comey better hope that that room wasn't taped. When that's when that when he tweeted that the big story that Comey was leaking was that Trump had tried to obstruct justice by by interfering with an investigation of a crime. And the crime was Michael Flynn contacting the Russians during the transition. Now, whatever Flynn did during the campaign or before he was working for Trump is really irrelevant. We know thanks to actually Comey admitted it. We know right. that Trump said, no, I want to know about, um, I should know if any of my satellites were having improper contacts. What he was talking about was the firing of Flynn. Um, and that was being billed as proof of the collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. And then it turned out a few days later, oh, no, no, it was perfectly appropriate for Michael Flynn to be talking to the Russians. The only reason Trump fired him was because he had allegedly misled uh, Vice President Pence. So when he says go easy on Flynn, he's talking about, you know, go easier on Flynn than you've gone on me, and don't let these lies continue about that contact with Russia being illegal, um, evidence of a crime that you're investigating him for committing a crime, something that, that James Comey also, um, we did not know up until the testimony was released the night before Comey testified, um, that he had, in fact, as Trump said in his letter firing Comey, three times told President right. Trump that he was not under investigation. And what were, his, what were his grounds for refusing to tell the public that? I mean, it's utterly outrageous to... I mean, a private citizen who's under investigation by the police and the whole thing is leaking and everyone's looking at it and the police refuse to say we've cleared you? They refuse because, to tell the Because public. we might declare you guilty in the future? I mean, it's yes. tough. So I, know, I doubt you ever <laughs> fell for this, but for months I was, because I'm a very literal man, was taking this seriously and kind of looking for evidence that maybe Trump colluded or whatever. It's finally dawned on me that this is just performance art. It's all a hoax. And if they succeeded in getting Trump out, guess who would be the Russian agent next? Mike right. Pence. I mean, this is not about Russia or national security or hacking our election. It's all a lie. No, you're absolutely right about that. Oh, and by the way, ask me um, if it's a nice day today. Is it a nice day today? Yet? I can't tell you because it would require a duty to correct. I mean, that's the most insane <laughs> argument I've heard for not being able to clear someone from something that is ripping up the front page of every newspaper. Yeah. Comey won't even say that Trump isn't being investigated because, well, if I make a statement about reality, there's a future. And then what will I do? It's the most insane thing I've ever heard. Um, by the way, I do want to correct you on one thing with your, your last guest. Um, you said there's no evidence of Russia interfering with, with the election. Actually, there is, with Russia trying to influence the election and colluding with Americans. And that's with the defamatory Trump dossier. Whatever happened to that? That was a Russian-produced dossier used by first Never Trumpers, then the Hillary Clinton campaign, then the FBI, and broadcast hysterically by by CNN. That was a Russian produced dossier. That is the only evidence we have of Russia That's trying to That's a really to good point. It was really a high watermark for BuzzFeed, I thought, not surprisingly. <laughs> and Coulter, thanks a lot for joining us tonight for that summation. Thank I you. appreciate it.